Hello friends, I'm so excited to show you one of my very favorite recipes. It only takes two ingredients and you can fix a ton of it. It's great to take to parties and to have around the house. So let's get started. You need a bag of popcorn and three blocks of almond bark. Through the years, I found that Orville Redenbacher's Naturals popcorn works best. You can use any of them, but it's my favorite. Uh, and what's nice, you can have the popcorn and the almond bark in your pantry, so you can make this at any time at a moment's notice. While your popcorn is popping, go ahead and break your almond bark apart into the three cubes and be ready to put it in the microwave. You're gonna microwave it for two minutes. I do one minute, check it, and then I do the next minute. So as your popcorn is fish finishing up, go ahead and take it out and place your almond bark in the microwave for one minute. You're gonna check it after a minute and then probably you're gonna need to cook it for another minute. Take your popcorn and spread it out on your cookie sheet. You're gonna wanna get all the kernels out. This is really important because it'll ruin your snack if you have the kernels in it. So spread it around, um, shake it up, and get those popcorn kernels out. So now you're ready to add your popcorn to your melted chocolate. I have found it's better to use a glass mixing bowl. Um, the chocolate does, the heat that it gets to, it will melt a plastic mixing bowl. So make sure you use a glass mixing bowl to melt your chocolate in. Just start adding your popcorn a little bit at a time. Mix that chocolate around and then ultimately you're going to need to pour this into your big bowl to get it all mixed up. Now that you've got the chocolate all mixed in throughout your popcorn, you're ready to spread it on your cookie sheet. Now at this point, with the chocolate still melted, you could go ahead and add sprinkles if you wanted to. I've added red and green sprinkles and that's what I'm doing here. Um, for a baby shower, I've added pink or blue. And it looks cute, it just kind of adds to it. But you don't have to add sprinkles, it's going to taste good either way. So now that you've got your popcorn spread around, you're ready to put it in the fridge. It only takes about five or 10 minutes for it to harden, so that's nice. You have a couple of different options of how you can package it. You can either put it in a Ziploc bag, or if you're wanting to have a party, you can put it in a party dish, or if you're wanting to give it as a gift, you can get gift bags and tags. I got these tags at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar, um, and you can package it for a gift. So your popcorn's ready to go. All you need to do is break it apart and put it into whatever container you've decided to put it into.
So here you go, white chocolate popcorn, quick and yummy, served three different ways. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to share it with a friend and subscribe to my channel.